Yeah, 60,000 60, here in Texas every year. Oh, just in Texas. Just in Texas. It's the number one cause of death in Texas. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So y'all are here. Uh, is this church with it? With no. abortion? No. Yeah. It's just no. a bunch of Christians. So we hand out information about it and try to bring awareness. <laughs> oh, to, I got you. Okay. Yeah. So This like, is what we're handing out. You it's, go to a good man's house for help, right? You go to people that are Christians. Like We right. wouldn't want to go to like a Satanist or... Right. You know, like, I understand that. You know, so because most Christians, I'm not saying you're a Christian, but say if you were a Christian, most right. likely you've never done anything in your whole life to make abortion help to make abortion illegal. You may be like in your mind, well, I'm pro life, right? But basically, what happens in our churches today? It is the number one cause of death. It's kind of like if a woman was getting raped over there, and we would sit here and go, I'm against that. Mm -hmm. not and not do anything, anything about it. About it. Right. Right. So Understood. as mi godly men, men of the at the gates, and we're supposed to protect our towns, not, not just you, but us right. too, yep. right? Mm -hmm. um, when there's evil happening in our towns, we should oppose it. We should do things that will help right. make it Understood. illegal. And we're doing that. And this uh, HB right here. So you want it to be illegal for abortion? Well, actually, HB 948 was written by Tony Tinderholt, representative in Arlington. Okay. And it makes it totally illegal. Life is protected at conception. Well, I think Trump's trying to do that too, isn't he? No. No, he just wants to defund and uh, some other things. But totally illegal. Yeah, Tony Tinderholt wrote this bill. I'm good. I'm good. And there's seven you other legislators. I did. Uh, and seven other legislators have co-sponsored it. In fact, Tony Tinderholt was placed under state protection today because of all now, the death threats. Now, this is only for Texas, then? This yeah. is only We're Texas. In, in quite a few states. Right? Yeah, I think we have 13 Alaska, states Ohio, where we have Florida. bills going forth right now. All right. Who's my kids? These are all your kids. Not me. I'm the wife. <laughs> well, that's good. Check this out. In Texas, there's 13,000 kids in foster care. There's 23,000 kids in foster care. Right. 13,000 of them can be adopted, but nobody wants older kids. I understand that, and so I, we I really do churches, understand that. And we say, in the communities, Christians, and say, how do we have 30,000 churches in Texas and 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted? Mm -hmm. How is that? How do we have 70,000 pastors? Right. You know? I had some stickers for y'all, but I don't have any here. But in my motorcycle. Officer, you know, Take them on a ride in the motorcycle. We don't have them. We're not allowed to ride them after dark. <laughs> safe. So, but the, the other officer, you know, he's like, well, you know, you're not allowed to be here unless you have a permit. Right. Right. And that's the we way Greg Mine operates. And we like to follow and rules and all that kind cars. of stuff. But, but that's for. Uh, but we don't know who he is. That's not for freedom of speech. Right. So, you know, he, we found he was really trying to use his authority. He ate Jays all over it. Yeah, I'm trying know. to understand what what everything's here for. We we were told that this there was just going to be a big deal. Yeah, these are just some Hold prominent up. pastors. I can afford them. We're just two abolitionists, my kids and my uh, that That's a nice bike. In fact, we had tickets. We got tickets to go. Yeah. And they said, no, you can't come in. So they know y'all? Yeah. They, oh, well, okay. we're abolitionists. Everybody in Texas. Because you you've been to their yes. events before. Right? Yeah, we, I got you, we, uh, I've got it too. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so that, that's basically what's going on. Like we go, okay. we stand out in front of all the churches, mm -hmm. um, all the Christian events, we go to town squares, you know, uh, stuff like that. Hold up. You know, just trying to get your word out, I understand that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Most people are ignorant of it. Can't be right here. If they're not ignorant of it, they're kind of apathetic. Dad, move. Yeah, they don't want to say something. You can't be in the video. I got you. So anyway, that's, that's what we're doing, so. For us? Well, yeah, I told her I had it too. Stuck it right pretty in cool. His face. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Dad, guess what? We found enough. I got more than you did. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I met an abolitionist. But yeah, we're asking people to call their legislators and get tell them to get behind this bill because this would make abortion illegal from conception. So do y'all? Uh, no, she's all right. So y'all. You don't know if they're actually for abortion or no, against No, they're abortion. against it. Okay. But where do you, you go to a Christian okay. and ask for a Christian? Where do you go to a heathen and you ask them? You just want to make the law completely illegal. Right. Well, I got and, you. And, and they do too. They do too. Mm. But they do in concept. 
but not in D. Yes. You know? They're and not it, wanting to and when I say, them, say this is what I got. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm just saying that there are people who are apathetic mm-hmm. that should be looking at it or thinking about it. And that's right. what we do. We make them think about it. Right. So we're not saying everybody that you're not a Christian if you don't actively oh, oppose still. abortion. We're yep. just saying enough people need to actively Chloe. oppose abortion to make it Hold illegal. This. So you're not here really protesting. We're not protesting. You're, you're here to you get a little places? more information. Yeah. I don't have that read, but, well, but you're, you but might you're have here to put out move. Uh, yeah. Dad, can you tell him to move? So what'd y'all eat for supper? Um, chicken, chicken, chicken soup and spaghetti. Ooh, spaghetti. That's the good stuff. Uh oh, what'd they put in there? Cow liver. Liver. liver in there. Oh. <laughs> no, not liver. <laughs> That's unchristian. Did you eat liver? <laughs> I didn't know what it is. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell yeah, you. Yeah. They did, huh? Did you like it, huh? Yeah, yeah you can't think it. I already spoke to you. How old are you? Nine? How old are you? I don't know. My daughter's 12. Talking about that guy in the yellow shirt. <laughs> How old are you? Yeah, don't stand in front of the camera. Right. Hold Where this pistol. Stafford. Stafford. Oh, Frisco. This guy's living in Texas. Wow, y'all come a long way. Yeah. How old are you? Not in Texas. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Six and I go to Roberts. Six and you go to Roberts? Robertson. Robertson Elementary? Yep. All right. Um, are you in kindergarten? No, first. First grade? I remember first grade. It was a long time ago, but, you know, first grade's good. I missed my nap. You missed your nap? <laughs> oh, naps in school? Yeah. I didn't want to take one, but now I do. I like naps. I like, like, two or three naps a day. <laughs> uh, how long are y'all planning on staying? Uh, just to tell I want to watch the movie. Yeah, I think they're, they're getting I like your boots. Anyway, I appreciate the information. It's not a big deal. So you heard it was going to be a big deal. No, no, no. We just didn't know. Hello, ma'am. Is that your wife? These are my new, my new friend friends. Ah, how are y'all? Is that your wife? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just friends. So, uh, but yeah, they're fixing to get started, and, and uh, yeah, we we didn't know what it was. We actually got told it, uh, that. Uh, what? what time is it? Ten minutes ago, probably. Well, I've been talking to y'all about ten minutes. So, uh, what is this in? That hey, there's there's a deal going on at the palace, and and there's there could possibly be a protest. We didn't know what it was, but now we know. So I'm gonna this, go back this, and this say this is not a protest. Yeah. Well, that's what it says. But, <laughs> that's what it says. But you know, uh, whenever when you give the information and you get the information that you need. Yeah. So you, usually, what happens is this: we go to a, a city that we haven't been before. You know? So, we live in a, we go to Frisco. Oh, oh man, I just saw the funeral for that little M officer the other day. Yeah, that's the worst, right? Yeah, it's so bad. So. But um, hmm? most of the cities haven't really been trained on free right now. Mm-hmm. protest, law breaking, all the crazy stuff, you know, right. like uh, the, those people that do all the sit ins and stuff, all that crazy stuff. But uh, we actually follow the law. We don't break the law. But the training isn't all that great. So what happens is, is usually after the first big mistake, then the city gets, the officers get real training on, right. you know, where the battle right. is. And so, but, well, we've had them here before. I mean, we've we've had protest here before, an actual protest. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, we've had that kind of stuff, and we try to deal with it the best we can. So, what grade are you in? Four. I like. Is that Fourth grade. Fourth. A taser? That's not a taser. That's a yellow plastic gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, yes, it's gun? a taser. <laughs> well, I'll talk I have Bring my magazines, my taser, my radio. Uh, that's my tourniquet in case I get hurt and I have to. I can put it on my arm and stop the bleeding real quick, or I can use it on somebody to help them. Uh, I've got my handcuffs, my spray, <laughs> and a and a aspirin. There you go, man. Get the word. Me hold it. Hey, you know, uh, you guys the yeah. favorite taser line I've ever heard in my whole life. Uh, Go to home. Nobody ever, like, it's never a good reason. No. Somebody may think there's a good reason to stand up right. once. Yeah. But I've never heard of Well, I've had it three times, and it is. Thank you. God bless you. So, 
Uh, but anyway, I appreciate your time. Hey, God bless Thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, these, and these, uh, uh, Some of these things can turn into a little... All right, man. What do you do there? Be careful. Thank you for your Thank service, you. sir. You'll see abolition. Y'all have a good night. We want to honor God and not break the law and not I'm sin. Good with you. You know? I'm good with you. Just, bring out uh, your taser. Huh? Bring out your taser. I can't bring it out. Why? The problem of it is, is if we, if I put handcuffs on somebody or bring out my taser or unholster my gun, anything like that kind of stuff, I have to do a use of force report. Well, you could yeah. take them. You could take no, them no, to the no, police. I would no. take them. Home. <laughs> no way. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we carry the stuff just in case we need it. Hopefully, never have to use yeah. it. I don't want to use it. You the same walkie-talkie as my teacher does. Well, walkie-talkies are different. These are actually radios, and we're on a trunk system, so we can. I can go to a certain channel and only talk to people in Grapevine. Nobody in any other cities can hear us. So. Hey guys, does it look like I can go very fast? <laughs> I'm on a motorcycle. It's on a substation. We don't ride after dark because it's too dangerous. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll. Uh, Looks like we did it. Yeah, yeah uh, you're good. They're not letting us in. We appreciate it. I know I've shook your hand a bunch, but I've God bless you, sir. Thank you, know, you for your service. Hopefully, be it's careful. for a good cause, and y'all be yeah. careful getting home. Hey, we're going to make abortion illegal. You know? Oh, you know that, you know that uh, <laughs> babies are created in the image of God? Right? Yeah, I understand. You know? so, and a lot of people don't. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people try to force it, and then they think they made a mistake. So, just uh, put them down. Y'all be careful getting home. You drop him. Hey, you dropped all your cards, too. And the important one is right here. Because I give 10. <laughs> Thank careful. you, officer. I'll get the light for you.